Lord, why is this section still here? And this is what the Lord said. He said, while some issues are hereditary, he said, but your issue is connected directly to your heart. And he revealed at that moment, you've been teaching, you've been preaching. He said, but yet you have a heart issue. And I said, well, Lord, what is the heart issue that I have? Because I'm just like, and he said, Margaret, he said, you have a forgiveness problem. He said, your father that hurt you, those that hurt you, even the men that raped you, you held them in your heart all these years. He said, you wasn't healed, you were numb. And he said, now I have to unnumb you so you can feel it so I can heal you completely. How many did you say you had to forgive? So I had to forgive everyone, my father, my mom, my- But didn't you deal with forgiveness before? Well, yes, I thought that I forgave them, but the Lord was saying, no, you, true forgiveness is when you release people. And he said, Margaret, when you got married, you walked down the aisle because you still held on to what happened to you. They walk down the aisle with you. They wake up with you. When you're ministering at that pulpit, they're with you. And he says, I can no longer. He said, this is where I draw the line in the sand. He's because, he, and he spoke this, he said, I said in the end, they will say, didn't I cast out demons in your name? Didn't I prophesy in your name? He said that I will say to them, get away from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. And he said, Margaret, my daughter, I don't want to say to you, I never knew you because you failed to forgive. Okay. You repented, then what did God Right then and there, I was like, oh, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> what did God do? And so when I repented, the Lord said, now I'm going to use what was meant to kill you to heal you. Wow.